Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this. so. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and guys, please, if you like the video, do not forget to hit the like button. Let's get started. Before we get started, guys, I really need your help. Seems like YouTube finalized the channel and uh, the views are going down, so it feels for me like it's not worth it anymore to do these videos put all the effort to do a video with uh, so few views on it so um, all you need to do to help the channel guys is add a comment very important hit that like button and absolutely share the video if you can if you do these uh, things those of you who watch the video will help uh, maybe you to take off the penalty I'm not sure why it's it's happening but uh, again it would be lovely if you can help me with that so that's all I need you to do and let's get started with the charts as usual we are on the Dixie we talked about the Dixie uh, level last week uh, that the 92 gonna be an important level uh, to keep an eye at because I was expecting potential uh, bullish interest at this level to then look for a bounce to the upside so we we saw that uh, the Dixie did dip a little bit below to then the day after go back above 92 and after that the situation kept moving higher so it's been nice move to the upside um, and then we've got the NFP so as you see here we've got this uh, bounce to the upside failure to break lower failure to and another failure to break lower with a little bit of a, a stop loss hunt to then see this market pushing nicely to the upside so uh, very good uh, momentum to the upside now uh, and uh, in my opinion it could be time for uh, a little bit of a correction after this move on the lower time frame wait for a little bit of a correction to the downside before one more leg to the uh, upside i would say maybe toward this level we might see the correction going down toward this area before the continuation move so all in all it is looking good at the moment and especially if we see a break above this high next week that would be a signal that we may uh, tag this previous high as well and maybe furthermore gold doing the opposite of <coughs> of uh, the US dollar so we've been inside this range and we've been talking about trading this range until we have a breakout now last Friday there was a huge break to the downside here and uh, in our trading room I've been talking about this channel to keep um, selling the highs buying the lows waiting for a breakout we've got a very nice breakout and a continuation and now if you look at it you see that uh, the market is about to test um, another level of interest here looking left this area might act as a good support for now and we may uh, see a gold giving us a little bit of a range down here now instead okay so i'm expecting some uh, consolidation down here but if they manage to break below so the next target gonna be all the way down here at around the uh, 1675 area so those are the scenarios either a bounce to the upside which is um, what i'm expecting first to see this slow down a little bit here start giving us a bounce back up maybe a retest to the broken structure filling the uh, the void in the price here on this move this is mostly what happened all the time when you got uh, such a huge moves something like this and then a move back down is the first um, thing I'm watching here I'm not looking to trade the upside move of this it could be a slow correction it could end up to be a little bit of a flag and then a break lower so I'm more interested to look at this level here on the retest to see if we're gonna get the correction back and then one more leg to the downside at least <clears throat> oil continue to the downside so we've been talking about the failure here to make a new high 
and we've got this uh, sequence of lower lows and lower highs so now we have another lower high and i still think this might continue all the way back down toward this area one more time so uh, oil i'm expecting further downside checking the lower time frame after the break of this trend line here and the break of this uh, little structure here we've got a nice break correction yet another break correction and we've got this break retest and then continuation so nice sequence of lower lows and lower highs and uh, i'm still expecting this market to continue lower uh, targeting down here at around 65 that will be the same plan for next week keep looking for these corrections to happen and look for the break to trade it okay so pretty straightforward just keep doing what we've been doing here back here the same scenario for next week on oil euro usd uh, failure to break higher so we've got the retest here we've got another uh, attempt to break higher that fails three times to then seeing euro usd continue to the downside checking on the daily time frame let's take off this wedge we don't not need it anymore uh, we see that uh, the market uh, is already testing this area and i still think this level here gonna be tested and potentially this area after that especially after i uh, failed a new high here we have a nice uh, swing here a retest of the broken structure that failed to break higher that could mean next week look for correction here on the euro it would be lovely if we see it going all the way toward this area before the move lower or a uh, some kind of a bearish flag a little bit of a consolidation like this and then after that a break to the downside those these are the scenarios i'm looking for on the euro usd sterling also failure to break higher after breaking out of the channel it went sideways here in this uh, consolidation zone and uh, <clears throat> yeah if you look on the four hour time frame it is already a broken structure here and it was pretty clear when we start seeing uh, these uh, highs fail to move higher we were expecting this market to to show us some kind of a break to the downside and it was clear here another attempt here then they broke the neckline and boom break below range now i'm looking for this to happen continuation to the downside so for next week each time we get an impulse we look for a little bit of a correction and then further downside i think <coughs> this uh, market is targeting at least a retest of this area at around here that would be a nice weekly level as a target checking here you see this uh, area been a nice level of interest so far so since they are breaking below the range i think the continuation toward the area is what we should be targeting usd Jappy bullish nice move to the upside uh, it is about to test an important area here and all the way up here uh, after dipping inside this support area we got this bullish engulfing candle on uh, wednesday thursday was a continuation and friday of course um, even uh, stronger momentum to the upside so keep an eye on uh, this market for now any correction back down toward this area could be a reason to look for long or if you start having some kind of a consolidation pattern like this you look to buy the lows expecting potential break to the upside i think now since they are back above at 10, uh, 109.70 um, since the market is back above that i think there is potential continuation toward 111 once again usd chief also nicely we talked about this level last week uh, i mentioned the slowing down of these candles and we've been talking about we had a strong momentum to then start seeing the uh, bodies of these candles getting uh, smaller and smaller and uh, as you see here wednesday bullish engulfing candle was the signal that this is a level of interest for the bulls and then the market kept pushing higher very very nicely now it did move strongly here which means we do have a uh, correction to expect that will always be the case the opposite of what we've got here you saw this happening and then you saw the market correcting all the way back up before it start moving lower okay so 
I'm expecting the same to happen here now. A little bit of a correction uh, to the downside is what to expect. Wait for this to give you the correction and then start looking for bullish flags or if it's gonna correct all the way back down. I wouldn't like to see it correcting all the way back down to the neckline, but it might happen, guys, it might happen. That it would not be the first time you're seeing something like this happening. Um, could be a nice uh, 618 um, correction toward this area. So a correction back down and then potential continuation could be uh, the plan for next week. USD CAD also uh, a nice bounce to the upside. Keep in mind now that you have a uh, higher low here on the daily. If we go down to the four hour time frame, you see it clearly we've had this move, failed to break higher, corrected back down and then continuation. So a nice higher low here. It is about to break further up. So uh, watching for the next week is this uh, flag here wait for this flag to end and then look for further upside yeah i do like this area here it is uh, a good level to watch if we get uh, a correction toward this area maybe even a little bit deeper that would be even better okay so that's uh, the plan for usd cat aussie <coughs> as you see failing still failing to enter back inside the range start looks really looking like a bearish flag here on the daily time frame so this failure to enter back inside this uh, upper range sending a signal that we might see further downside on this market so if we go down to the four hour time frame you see here there was this attempt this 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 and lately was this lower high this is the most important one in my opinion this lower high after this impulse you get a lower high you get a break of the neckline and that's why i'm thinking we might see further downside on this market next week but if you want to play it safe keep an eye on this um, bearish flag for now okay so if this breaks then you look for something like this a break retest and then further downside this would be the safest way to play it in my uh, opinion and then we have new zealand usd uh, still inside the range okay so we've been talking about this range also for a while sell high sell high buy low buy low wait for a breakout so last week again the top of the range did act as resistance and this market failed to break higher we've got a lower high we've got a broken neckline so even here we would look for a retest of this broken structure and then further downside targeting the bottom of this range that would be um, the plan because the risk to reward would be lovely if you go with a stop loss above this previous high even if you're gonna target just this level here you will still get a nice risk to reward trade and if you target the bottom of the range that's almost uh, two r you have there on this um, on this trade but you need to be careful you want to see a correction going slowly 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 to this and then look for uh, bearish evidence up here at this area somewhere in this area to look for your um, uh, entry reason okay so uh, yeah guys that was it for this week as i said in the beginning of this video do not forget to hit that like button add a comment help the channel to go back on track thanks a lot see you next sunday bye bye